I'm here with the Fix Dry filament dryer. I wanted to give it a test. Um, my initial impressions after a few days and several different filaments through it is, yes, I, I will be drying filament, but we'll, we'll get to why. I'll, I'll show you some examples here in a little bit. So let me talk about this real quick. Right now I've got some PLA in there. It's some bone PLA that I was looking to do a skull for my wife. I imported that from Canada. I'm really excited to try it. It just came an hour ago. Um, I'm just putting it in for three hours while I do some other stuff. I'm sure it's pretty dry, but let's just dry it just a little. So I've got that at about 50 Celsius. Uh, it'll bounce around from like 49 to 51, 52, and then back and forth. Um, where this really shines though, is I've done a bunch of PETG in here and I've done um, some different sets of hours in, in there. And we'll go take a look at that on the table. But overall, I am very happy with this fix dry. It does two spools, or I believe it'll do one two kilogram spool or two one kilogram spools. And then it's got all of these here. So, you know, you've got your three little ports, your three little ports. There's two here and there's two on the back. And these are so you can take a piece of tubing and you can run your filament through and then run it over to your printer. Um, if you're not using something like an AMS or I guess AMS Lite in this case. So if I just wanted to do single color stuff, which I would probably do with PETG, um, if I'm going for that characteristic of PTG, I'm, I'm personally not worried about the color. It could always be painted or whatever, post-processed. So I would do that and, you know, and then put the spool up here and, and feed it to that, the, the feeder thing, you know, whatever. Feed it directly to the head, whatever. So yeah, let's go to the table and the microscope and take a look at some of the examples. Okay, now that we're here at the table, let me talk about the filament we used first. I used this Ace Adity PETG, that's the clear, and then I have the black here. We also did some stuff in that. I'm not sure exactly how long, but I know it was between seven and eight hours, so let's just call it seven. I went ahead and did a benchy. I'm gonna start doing this with all my filaments. I'm gonna make a benchy after I dry it for the appropriate amount of time for that. I was tinkering with PETG here just to see how the dryer was doing. So I only did seven hours on this first one, and it turned out all right. We'll look at it in the microscope here in a second. But then I also did one in the black, and this one I dried for 24 hours, and we're gonna take a look at that too. But we also have two other things. This was done right after the uh, clear benchy. So this is, I don't know, seven hours minus an hour and a half, two hours. And then um, this took a few hours itself and the ambient humidity was 39 to 41-ish. It was kind of bouncing around because of the air conditioning. So yeah, let's get that under the microscope. But then we do have one last thing after that. We have, actually we have two things, sorry. We have this, this dog that I did then after the ghost to see um, you know, how much degradation had happened. So all this was done within 12 hours of it coming out of the dryer. Uh, again, it was in the dryer for seven to eight hours, let's call it seven. And there was significant degradation here, just from the 40-ish percent humidity. And then for the black, I also did a little temperature test this morning, again, after it had had uh, another 24 hours to get the humidity out again before I did it. So yeah, well, let's get these under the microscope here. Okay, we're under the microscope here and we're recording. We're just taking a look at the back here. You can see there's some interesting stuff going on with some of these, these filaments here. But overall, let me see if I can get it a little more clear. It's kind of hard because of the clear plastic. Uh, I just want to do this because my wife wanted to see what the ghost would look like in clear. In the future, I'll be doing other colors, but for the sake of this, this dryer review, I am very happy with this. There's some interesting things going on there. And you do have some stuff, but I could probably come in here and clean that up with a torch. You know, just hit it real quick. Hobby torch. Oh, we're going out of focus again on that curve. There we go. Sorry that it's moving around so fast. This is a sphere, so it's hard to keep steady. But everything looks pretty good there, right? And again, this was after about seven hours, seven and a half hours. But just before this, we did the benchy. So let's take a look at that benchy. We're going to have to readjust the camera here. I apologize if for that. You couldn't hear me very well. I did have the microphone next to me. I've repositioned it so it should be a little bit better. 
Yeah, so everything looks pretty good here. Let me get the lighting a little better. There we go. Like, there's some weird stuff, but not a lot. Let me find that. So right there is a little weird. But otherwise, everything looks pretty uniform, pretty nice. There's no stringing. We're going to focus there on the keel a little. Let's try that. So you got a little little funkiness right there in that overhang but otherwise you know pretty pretty good let's check the actual ship's house so we do have some stuff going on there we got a little bit here in the top corner again that would clean up pretty good but overall I'm pretty happy with this benchy um, it may not look the best right now but when we compare to the uh, dog here in a second. So overall, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Okay, this dog is hideous, as you can see already. Um, there is all kinds of nasty stringing. These layers just look gross. There's strings everywhere. Um, let's go inside it here. Let's see if I can focus that. It's just the whole inside of it is nothing but like a crystal cave of hairs. It's just ridiculous. It's just pretty gross. Like everything about it is just gross. So this was about, I'd say 10 or 12 hours after, about, about 10 is when I started this print and it probably wrapped up right around 12 hours uh, after taking it out of the dryer. And just from that 40% humidity, look at that giant string that goes all the way down. Like what? This thing is gross. Let me go ahead and show you this on camera here. I don't know how well you can appreciate that, but the thing is pretty nasty. You can see the strings hanging off. Whereas, you know, like the Benchy, uh, pretty good, except for there in the pilot house, there's that little bit of fuzz. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me Put my hand there. I'm using the GoPro and I know it doesn't like to focus in real close, but I'm, I'm very happy with that. That looks better than some of the PLA ones I've done that haven't been dried. And again, that ghost. Um, I know he's hard to see because he's clear. I've done nothing to this. this. This is exactly how it came off the printer. You can even see the little wisp on its, its top knot or whatever we want to call that. This thing is gorgeous, and you can't appreciate it on camera, but the shine on this in person is, is just amazing. So let's take a look at the black. Now, this was 24 hours. Go ahead and show you that real fast. I don't know how well you can see that. Even with the naked eye, um, there's only one of these that even looks remotely different. It, all of them came out really nicely with the 24 hours. And then the Benchy, again, it's got like one little hair. Don't know how well you can see that but it's just got that hair right there in the pilot house, that strand. And it's not even attached on both sides, it's just on the one side. And this thing just is beautiful. So let's take a look at the temperature tower here. There we go. Where are we? Find my finger, okay. So we did 235, 240, 245, 250, 255, and 260 here. And You've got the little uh, overhangs, and you got these little doodads here. And I mean, everything's pretty consistent in all the temperatures. Um, don't mind how things get a little weird at the transitions. That's just because it's changing temperature. You do get down here and you start to get some stringing, and that was at the 260. Um, I had one person tell me they run this specific Ace Adderty uh, PTG at 270 and they get stellar results. But at least on this temp tower, it looks like 260 is where it starts like messing up the most. Again, we got some stringing at 260, 250, 245, 240, and then 235 doesn't have a lot of stringing. I'm sorry, that's 240 that we're at still. 235's up here. 
So 235 has the stringing there on that thing, but then 240 had none. So if I was going to run this again, I would probably go with 240. And again, this is after 24 hours. Um, you saw what the dog looked like. I can't imagine how bad this is going to look if I just left it out in the humidity. And again, the Benchy. This was fresh out after 24 hours. Let's get it into focus here. Look at that. That looks so cool on the camera. Get that into focus. Oh, my bad. That is so cool. Like, what is that? Oh, that's picking up the bottom. That's from the build plate. Microscopes just make things so interesting. I'm going to have to move that up so it's not that big of a deal because that's not going to give us an accurate representation anyway since it's the build plate. But we can see here on the keel, I mean, there's a couple of strings. But other than that, like, that looks fantastic. Like, ah, oh, those lines. Let's look up here at the pilot house. So there's that one little string I told you about. It doesn't really go anywhere. Um, I bet a torch would have taken care of that. And yep, there we go. So everything's pretty good up here on top too. Um, I don't know how well we can see it. Yep, there you go. There's that little string and another little string on the back of the pilot house and then up by the smokestack, which is up here. So, you know, there's a little bit of schmoo, but you come in here with a torch and that would have been pretty good. It's just some strands. Like, I, I am sold on that heater. Um, there'll be a link in the description and a link in the sticky comment. I, I, I think it's amazing. Like, it it, it, it it made a world of difference. This dog is just so ugly. Like, as it started printing, I could already tell down here in the first five or six layers that something was horribly wrong because it looks like old styrofoam. Um, and, and that was only, what did I say, 10, 12 hours sitting out in the ambient humidity of 40. Uh, it was 41 when I stopped, like 38 when I started, again, because the air conditioner it, it fluctuated a little. So, yeah, dry your filament, at least PETG. Um, there's people that, oh, you don't have to dry it. And I'm like, well, you must live in the desert. Um, I'm in central Indiana. <laughs> it gets really humid here. It was like 99% humidity the other day. And it was like 90 degrees that day too. So <laughs> humidity is definitely a concern. And if you're in a humid location, 100% get a heater. I'm quite happy with this one. And yeah, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.